So that's my story of how I got into UK medical school without doing UK CAT, A levels, BMAT, or any other international university entrance exams. Hello, I'm Zoya Hart. I'm a third year medical student studying in the UK. So I came to this country when I was 16. So I did university foundation year in an international college in the UK. University foundation year exam or university foundation year qualification is a lot, I guess, a lot easier than A-levels and any other university exams. Medical schools considered the qualification that I had lower than they require. For that reason, I couldn't apply to medical schools. And then I did get into medical sciences through clearing. If you don't know what clearing is, clearing is a system that is used by UK universities when their spaces for that specific course has not been taking so they have empty spaces so they need more students for that reason getting into courses through clearing is a lot easier because those universities want students to get into the course so that they can fill in the spaces so they lower the entry requirements for example and usually they want a star a star, a star for that course but if you got in through clearing then actually you would have probably got in with lower grades for example with BBB or AAA rather than A star because actually they want you to fill in that space. The reason that I applied for that medical sciences course in that university because I did research I knew beforehand that that university offers a transfer scheme from medical sciences course to medicine. So now I'm going to talk about what specific requirements I needed to fulfill to transfer from medical sciences to medicine. Firstly, like in every degree in medical sciences also there are a number of assessments so exams and projects that you have and at the end of the year the average of all of those exams that you had throughout the year is being taken and if your average is in top 10 amongst all of the, the first year medical sciences students then they let you have a medical school interview and if you pass that interview then they let you go into medicine starting from first year. Because I had the highest average amongst all the first year medical sciences students in my year which is 220 or 250 it was for my year, I had the opportunity to have that medical school interview with nine other top students once we passed the interview, we got into medicine. There is something important to note. Not all universities actually do have a transfer scheme that allows you to get into medicine from another course like medical sciences or biology or biomedical sciences like that. Um, I think at the time that I've applied, which was like four years ago, only four universities actually allowed you to transfer from one degree to medicine. That was at the time University of Newcastle, Queen Mary, London and University of Exeter, which I'm going to currently. So I went into University of Exeter's medical sciences, then transferred to medicine. And I didn't have to do UK CAT to transfer either. And I didn't have to do A-levels. I didn't have to do any of those. Um, but actually at the moment University of Exeter has stopped that transfer scheme from medical sciences to medicine because it was oversubscribed. Most of the students who were in the first year of medical sciences were actually there because they wanted to get that transfer to medicine and once they don't get the transfer they would drop out so Exeter Medical School sort of stopped that transfer scheme now. But it's important to note that it's a lot easier to get into medicine, to get into medical schools in the UK through a-levels or BTEC or any other kind of exams than getting into medicine through a transfer scheme because everyone who was in the first year of medical sciences, almost everyone, like 95% uh, of my cohort, I remember in the first day, in the first lecture of our year in medical sciences, uh, one of the tutors, lecturers asked us who was in that course to actually get into medicine. In that lecture hall, almost 95% of my peers raised their hands. So almost 95% of your cohort will actually, will be there hoping to get into medicine. So for that reason, I'd say 
if you want to get into medical school in the UK, do A-levels or B-tech, which is a lot less competitive. As I've also talked to my friends who's done A-levels to get into medicine, they said it's a lot easier to get into medicine that way rather than go through this transfer scheme. And then also it saves you a year. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them.